The kidneys are small but powerful organs that perform many important functions. Unfortunately, there are various ways in which these organs can become damaged, and kidney disease now affects about 10% of the world's population. If you have kidney disease, it's important to follow a special diet and eat certain foods, which we're touching on in this video. When the kidneys aren't working properly, waste builds up in the blood, including waste products from food. That's why for most people with advanced kidney disease, it's important to follow a kidney-friendly diet that helps decrease the amount of waste in the blood. This diet is often referred to as a renal diet, and it helps boost kidney function while protecting it from further damage. While dietary restrictions vary depending on the individual, it's common for patients to restrict the following nutrients. Sodium is found in many foods and a major component of table salt. Now, damaged kidneys can't filter out excess sodium, causing its blood levels to rise. Now, it's often recommended to limit sodium to less than 2,000 milligrams per day. Potassium plays many critical roles in the body, but those with kidney disease need to limit potassium to avoid dangerously high blood levels. It's usually recommended to limit potassium to less than 2,000 milligrams per day. Damaged kidneys can't remove excess phosphorus, a mineral in many foods. High levels can cause damage to the body, so dietary phosphorus is restricted to less than 800 to 1,000 milligrams per day in most patients. And protein is another nutrient that people with kidney disease may need to limit, as waste products from protein metabolism can't be cleared out by damaged kidneys. However, those with end-stage renal disease undergoing dialysis, uh, which is a treatment that filters and cleans the blood, uh, they might have greater protein needs, uh, but that would be working with a specialist. Each person with kidney disease is different, and that's why it's important to talk to your healthcare provider about the best diet for you. With all that in mind, we're now gonna look at some delicious and healthy foods that are low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. Number one, cauliflower. Cauliflower is a really nutritious vegetable that's high uh, in many nutrients, including vitamin C, K, and folate. One cup, or 124 grams, of cooked cauliflower contains 19 milligrams of sodium, 176 milligrams of potassium, and 40 milligrams of phosphorus. Plus I like that mashed cauliflower can be used as a replacement for potato uh, as a low potassium side dish. Number two, red grapes. Not only are red grapes delicious, they're also really high in vitamin C and contain uh, beneficial compounds called flavonoids. Additionally, red grapes are high in resveratrol, a type of flavonoid that has been shown to benefit heart health and protect against diabetes and cognitive decline. They are, of course, kidney friendly as well, with half a cup containing 1.5 milligrams of sodium, 144 milligrams of potassium, and 15 milligrams of phosphorus. Number three, blueberries. Blueberries are packed with nutrients and are one of the best sources of antioxidants uh, that you can eat. In particular, these sweet berries contain antioxidants called anthocyanins, which may protect against heart disease, certain cancers, cognitive decline, and diabetes. One cup or 148 grams of fresh blueberries contains only 1.5 milligrams of sodium, 114 milligrams of potassium, and 18 milligrams of phosphorus. Number four, egg whites. Although eggs are really nutritious, uh, the yolks are really high in phosphorus, making just the egg white more appropriate for someone following uh, a renal diet. Fortunately, egg whites provide a high quality, kidney friendly source of protein uh, because they're very low in phosphorus. Two large egg whites contain 110 milligrams of sodium, 108 milligrams of potassium, and only 10 milligrams of phosphorus. Number five, macadamia nuts. Most popular nuts like almonds and peanuts are high in phosphorus and not recommended for people on a renal diet. However, macadamia nuts are delicious and low phosphorus option. Now, one ounce or 28 grams of macadamia nuts contains 1.4 milligrams of sodium, 103 milligrams of potassium, and 53 milligrams of phosphorus. Number six, skinless chicken. Although a limited protein intake is necessary for some kidney issues, uh, providing the body with adequate amounts of high quality protein is vital to health. Skinless chicken breast contains about 60 milligrams of sodium and about 200 milligrams of potassium and phosphorus, which is a lot less than skin on chicken. When shopping for chicken, choose fresh chicken and avoid pre-made roasted chicken as it contains large amounts of sodium and phosphorus. Lastly, remember to always discuss your food preferences with your healthcare provider to ensure that you're following the best diet for your particular needs. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.